Dominic Cruz is set to return to the Octagon on March 6th against Casey Kenny. Although Cruz is the former bantamweight champion and used to being on pay-per-views or headlining shows, that will not be the case in this fight. Instead, he will be the prelim headliner, which is a spot Cruz actually liked. That's probably the most seen position on the entire fight card. I'll have the most eyes on me, like I said. I've had a pretty decent layoff, so let's get me in front of a lot of eyes is what I'm thinking. At the same time, being on the prelims, that's an ego thing. I'm not really attached to my ego at this point. I know what I am. I know the things that I've accomplished. It doesn't affect me to be seen more. And I will. I'll be seen more. Now, speaking on his Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping weighed in on Dominic Cruz's comments. Here's what he said. Listen, he's got a tough fight though, Casey Kenny. This is the problem. I, I do respect Dominic Cruz for taking this fight because it's a big step down in competition, if you will. Maybe not in terms of uh, technical ability for Casey Kenny, but certainly in name value. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's Henry, Henry Cejudo to Casey Kenny. There's a big drop down there, but he's still good. Casey Kenny is a multiple time national judo champion. He's a state champion wrestler multiple times, at high school and college, I believe. And I think he's only got like two losses on his record, you know, so he's it's a very, very tough fire. But I mean, there is some truth to that. A lot of people do watch those prelims. Yeah, but more people watch the main event. It's the main event. There's many events. There's ones that, you know, there's maybe 12, 13 events on, but there's one that's called the main event. That's like the main event. That's like the main attraction. That's like the big, you know, the main dish at a meal. It is the piece de resistance at a, at a show. You know, it is what everyone's talking about. The main event is what's selling the show. It's driving the traffic. It's getting people to buy the pay-per-view. I understand that it is... If you're going to be on the prelims, the prelim headliner is the one you want to be on. But guess what? If you're on the main card, the main card headliner, the main event, you might say, is more prestigious. Listen, he's doing what he got to do to accept the situation, and, and that's what you do. And he has kind of got a point. There is a, a little bit of truth to that, but, you know, you want to be in the main event if possible. Steven Thompson continues to campaign for a welterweight title shot against current champion Kamaru Usman. Speaking to MMA Fighting, Thompson explained why he deserves the next title shot. Fight somebody you haven't fought yet. You beat pretty much everybody except me in the top 5. That's it. Of course, you've got Michael Chiesa who is number 6. He hasn't fought Michael Chiesa either. But keep going on down the line. You beat everyone up here. Who's next? It's this guy. Come on, Usman. Come on, man. Fight somebody you haven't fought yet. I do believe if we fought, he would definitely change game plans. He would not fight me the same way. He would definitely use his wrestling background to try and get me to the floor. What do you guys think about this matchup? Should Kamaru Usman fight Steven Thompson next? Leave your comments below. On Thursday, Jones shared a video of himself hitting the pads with coach Winklejohn. Jones definitely looks to be a much bigger man, but he is still moving well on his feet. Check out the video. Oh, but Brevi is good. 
This is most important. That's it. Cool. Oh. <laughs> According to ESPN's Ariel Hawani, a flyweight championship rematch between Figueiredo and Moreno is set for a UFC event on June 12th. In the first fight, Figueiredo successfully defended the title against Moreno at UFC 256 in December via majority draw in a fight of the year contender. It's, it's a powerful thing knowing that you can pick yourself back up. That's that's one thing I can say. It's a very, even if I get knocked down, I, I know I have full confidence that I have um, I have the ability to pick myself back up and, and get back out there. So that is what allows me to take a lot of risks that a lot of other guys aren't willing to take because maybe they're not so confident that they can pick themselves back up. Um, if they get defeated or if they things don't go their way or if they get knocked out, if they get choked out. But it's something that I've always, it's an ability that I've always had is, is to overcome these kind of tests and overcome these kind of challenges. I've been dragged through wars. I've been beaten up for five rounds. I've been choked unconscious. Now I've been, now I've been knocked out in a fight and it's, uh, it's all the same. It's all the same. I cannot say that one type of loss hurts any more than any other kind of loss. They Losing by narrow split decision and getting knocked out in the first round, they're just as hard to overcome. They're both, they're both exactly as difficult to, to put in the past. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just a new experience that I've had. I'll learn, I'll grow, and I'll get back out there. So yeah, I feel I feel really lucky, really. Uh, when I got the offer to fight uh, this week, <laughs> I I jumped at it because I was like, man, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to fight again. So so I'm super stoked. Um, I want people to see how much better I am. You know, I want people to see how much I've improved and that I'm a contender. And I know it's not gonna happen after this fight, after after winning this fight. But I, I know that every girl in the UFC who's like in the top 15, there there may be two or three wins away from a title shot. So this has to be my first, you know, this has to be my first win, my first step. I get one or two more and then, you know, I could be looking at a title shot. Um, so, so yeah, I hate, I hate when people go, ah, oh, you're stupid for thinking that. But it's true. Like, look at the people who've gotten shots recently. Look at uh, Megan Anderson versus um, Nunez. She got the shot off of two wins. So even though our division is a lot deeper, when you get to the top 10, if you beat two ranked girls, then people are going to be looking at you next.